Hi there everyone and welcome to another episode of the Online Course Secrets podcast. And today we're going to be talking about how to launch an online course the right way. So if you're watching this live in the Facebook group, uh, go ahead and uh, you know you can talk with me in the comments. I'm here, we're doing this live, this is not recorded. So uh, go ahead, if you have any questions throughout the presentation that I wanted to do with you today, just go ahead and ask. And I'm going to move myself over so I can see your your comments. Hi Lorna and hi Jorge, glad you could both join. And um, what we're doing today is actually part two of a three, uh, three part <laughs> episode thing going on here. Uh, last week we talked about how to build your audience, how to gather your qualified leads, which is one of the three main components of uh, succeeding with an online course business. Uh, so the three components are having an audience that sees you as the solution to the problem they have. Number two, which is what we're going to be talking about today, is actually having that solution. So you can offer it. That If you don't have something to offer, you're not going to be able to make money and you won't be able to help people. And next week we're going to be talking about the marketing and the sales systems in order to get your offer in front of your audience. But today we're going to focus on your course, how to create your course, course and actually how to launch it and be able to sell it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, like you don't have to create anything. You shouldn't be creating any sort of content before you launch it. So we're going to be talking about that. It's not actually, it's, it's a, something weird. It's not really pre-selling because um, it, that would imply that we are uh, selling it before it's ready to be delivered. And that's not what we're doing. So I'm going to explain how that works. Uh, we're going to go through the three uh, the three main things here needed to create and launch an online course, which is how to put together your, your uh, framework, your signature method. Number two is how to, um, uh, how to launch it, <laughs> sorry, how to launch it uh, using the wave launch strategy. And then the third thing is uh, what you need to do inside your course in order to launch it uh, before you have created any content. So we're going to be talking about all that today. And as always, hi Tamara, awesome, glad you could join. As always, if you have any questions throughout, uh, just let me know in the comments. I think this is so much more fun when I'm interacting with you and I'm, and I'm not just talking to a camera. Uh, so that way we, you can ask your questions and I can have more fun and I can answer your questions. And uh, if you are watching this in the Facebook group and you would like the guide that, we're, that I'm showing you in the video, then just comment guide below and I'll reach out to you and, uh, and make sure you get it. So if you like the guide that I'm walking you through and you're watching this in the Facebook group, go ahead and comment guide and I'll get back to you. And if you're listening to this podcast outside and you're wondering what am I talking about, what video, etc., etc., just join our uh, community Online Course Secrets and uh, you can participate in these episodes live. With that said, let's get this going. Great, so uh, quick recap actually, um, what we talked about uh, last time. So last time we talked about the major mistake you want to avoid, which is to try to create your course before you have gathered your audience, because the last thing you want to do is create your, the course out of your own head. Uh, what you want to do instead is find the buyer, ask them what they want and then create that for them. That's the only way that you can make sure it matches 100%. That's why we gather an audience first, because it takes longer to build a position and to uh, really listen in on what people want and need. And then we launch the course and then we focus on the delivery and sales. So that's what we covered last week. Then we talked about how to have your clear mission statement, which is it's like a sentence of who you help and what is the big problem you solve and what is the desired situation that you lead people to. Right? And that, that's going to come very, that's the foundation for everything, but it's going to be extremely important for us as we start creating the course, because the course is, uh, we're, it's a transformational course, which means that it's not just that we're teaching people about a topic, we are creating a, a, pro, a method to help people overcome the problem and get to their desired outcome. And your course is simply just a product, a container for people to purchase so that they can implement your method. Okay, so we're gonna dive deeper into that. Let me know if that makes sense in the comments. And I know there's a bit of a delay here, so 
So I'll, uh, I'll have a patience with you and you'll have patience with me and we're gonna get through this, okay? So then we also talked about how to set up your Facebook group. We're starting this organic and I explained why a Facebook group is the best way to do this and how you can actually use a Facebook group both as a, the ultimate lead magnet, right? Because you're offering people belonging, which is what people are looking for. And at the same time, you are um, using, using it as a positioning tool. So you're positioning yourself as the leader of a community that is on the mission that you have established, right? So we talked about that. And then we talked about how to uh, start engaging your members by uh, starting conversations. So that's the whole idea of a community is to have interesting conversations, to have an environment, uh, uh, an atmosphere, where a culture where people feel that they can ask questions and they can give help without feeling that they're stepping on your toes. It's, a, it's an ecosystem between people that are looking for help and people that want to give help and everything in between. So that brings us to today, because at this point, you know who you help, you know what is the big problem you solve, and you know why they want this, because you've asked them and you've been talking with them, and you've started conversations and you're starting to collect questions and, you're, and by helping them, they're also seeing you as the, the person that can help them, right? You have your Facebook group to start inviting people, people come in, they see you as the leader of this community, as this movement towards this bigger, higher vision. And you have also uh, started to provide some value here in the form of your content because you've started to collect questions. You have now turned that into content. So if someone asks, how do I train my dogs? Then, uh, uh, then you would uh, share that in one of your content. So this is, these are the three steps for how to train your dog, even if you're a complete beginner or something along those lines, right? And that's just an example. So now what we wanna do is we wanna really take this big problem that's standing in people's way and we wanna break it up into the smaller problem. So th this is the secret with life, right? There are no big problems. There's just collections of smaller problems, right? So whenever you're faced with something that's too big to handle in your life, you need to just ask yourself, well, if I were to break this down into its smaller uh, components here, what are the smaller problems that need to be solved? So what I'm walking you through right now is my framework, is my method, right? So I'm sharing with you that in order for you to solve this big problem on how to create and sell a high ticket online course, you need to have an audience, you need to, set, you need to offer uh, the product that, they, uh, that they're asking for, and then you need to have marketing and sales systems in place. So it's audience, offer, sales systems, right? So those are the three phases of my method, right? And you wanna have your own framework for how you solve the, the big problem. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments, right? Because when you're talking with your prospect and they're asking, well, how are we gonna do this? Then you have to be able to say, well, first we're gonna focus on this, then we're gonna focus on that, and then uh, thirdly, we're gonna do this. And this is the plan, this is the strategy. And by breaking it up like this into a into a step-by-step -step method, right? then uh, people can see, oh, right, I understand, that makes sense, that's how we should solve, approach this problem. So those are the three phases, but we wanna actually go deeper than that and break it down into uh, three steps for each phase. And remember, this is flexible. In my program, we actually have four phases, uh, but this is like the, my main method, if that makes sense. So uh, after I started working with my clients, I realized that we needed to focus more on workflow, on um, a mindset, uh, tech, uh, those kind of things. So we had those in, in a specific uh, phase for that, right? So it's flexible, it's not, it's not as rigid as you might think. With that said, for instance, for, for my method, right? My first, uh, my first phase is how to build an audience. And then I need to break that down into its three smaller problems. Well, first you have to know who are you serving? What is the problem you solve? And why is this so important? That's the mission statement, right? Next, you need to have a place to gather your prospects where you can nurture them and you can uh, warm them up over time and listen in and talk with them and position yourself correctly. And my solution to that problem is to have a Facebook group. Then the third issue is you have to actually 
I have the systems in place to get people talking and engaging. Otherwise, they're not staying there and they're going somewhere else. You have to create these patterns of behavior where people keep coming back and where they naturally see you as someone to follow up on or to check in on every day if you've released something new. And that's the, uh, the systems we have for creating engagement, right? So it's all very, you know, basically what you want to do is you want to create this full map from beginning to end, breaking the whole problem down into its smaller obstacles and then create corresponding steps for how to solve each obstacle so that you can go through the three phases so that you can solve the big problem. I hope that makes sense. I, you know, I, I'm, you know, in the Facebook group, I'm showing you this framework right now, right? Of um, what this looks like. And if you're listening to this, I hope that you can kind of get a sense of of what I'm talking about here. Three phases and three steps for each phase. Okay, hope this makes sense. Great, okay, so this is the, the first step of the second phase in my mes method, right? You have to have your own method. You need to have your own framework because this is what's going to become the, the uh, let's see if we can, uh, did, did, did. no, I can't zoom out, okay. Um, this is what's going to be the foundation. This is the course curriculum for your product, for your offer, right? And again, if you want this guide, just comment guide in the comments and, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so what do we do after we have your method in place? And remember, this has to be what your audience is actually struggling with. What is it that your audience is actually uh, needing help with? What are the actual steps that they need to take and how can you uniquely solve these obstacles in order to solve the big problem. Okay, so this is the foundation for everything, for, for everything you teach. If, if you're doing a coaching session, if you're doing a strategy call, then you're simply asking them questions against your framework. So for instance, when I'm talking with someone, I'm asking them, well, how are you gathering your audience? How, what does your uh, course look like? Have you launched it? How are you currently selling it, right? So I'm asking questions to see what they need help with inside this map, right? And the same should be true for you. Okay, next. This is the probably one of the most counterintuitive, counterintuitive things here, right? Um, let's see if we can do this. No, here we go. How about that? Great. So, um, what we're talking about now is how to launch an online course before it's actually ready, or it's a better way of thinking of it like this. It's better if you sell your course first, get your students in, and then create the online course that they're asking for, that they need. So what we do in order to do that, in order to make sales immediately, so you're not working months and months and months trying to validate a course, working on a launch, etc., 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 on something that might not never sell because you, you haven't gotten it truly validated. The only way to get your, your offer truly validated is if someone pays for it, right? So the way we do this is that we offer it at a much lower price for the first people that join in, and we position this as something that is going to cost much more in the future, and that the reason they're getting it at a lower investment now is because you're going to be building it together with them and you want your first foundation of students and get the best results for your first clients in order to get testimonials, to create case studies and to really make sure that the, the offer is at the highest quality. So then how can you sell it? Well, what you need to do then is you need to include group coaching because what this enables you to do is to go out to your market, to your audience and say, Hey everyone, are you this kind of person struggling with this kind of problem and you're looking for this kind of result? Then I, have, I might have something for you. I have just launched my new program to help you with these obstacles and this is how it's going to work. We're going to meet each week on Zoom. I'm going to be coaching you, guiding you through my method in order to solve these obstacles and get this desired outcome, right? Then I'm going to have a client community for you. So you can ask me questions 
between our coaching sessions. And in time, as I'm coaching you and I'm, I'm seeing what it is you need extra help with, I'm going to be creating uh, training videos, resources, templates, guides, etc. Everything you need in order to implement this as fast as, as humanly possible. When this program is finished, I'm going to be charging $2,000 or more for this. But right now, because I've just launched this and I'm looking to create the best results for my first students, meaning you, I am offering this at a 75% discount for the first 10 people or 90% discount for the first 10 people. Then I'm going to be increasing the price. This way, if so now we're stepping out of the example here, right? So if you launch it like this, you never have to wonder how much to charge for your product, right? Because your market will tell you what they think it's worth. If no one is buying, then something needs to be tweaked in your marketing because the, there's nothing wrong with the deliverables, right? Someone getting uh, pretty much infinite help and all your attention because they are the first students in your coaching program at a 90% discount, if you have framed this correctly and you have actually listened in on what they want and need, uh, you should be able to sell this really, really quickly, right? If, if you have done your job right with the market research, etc. So you'll see how fast this sells. And this is what creates natural scarcity and urgency. Because instead of telling people that you're going to be closing down the, the, the doors to your course, you can simply tell people, hey, we got three spots left, two spots left, one spot left, if you're looking to jump in on, uh, uh, on this new program that I've just created and launched, right? Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments. I hope it does. Great. Okay, so this is what we call the wave launch strategy. This is what enables uh, us to go up to the actual price without having to wonder how much to uh, charge for it. This is what al allows us to sell a program right away uh, because you don't have to create the whole thing, right? You, you basically just tell people, hey, we're doing our first coaching session this Thursday and you're so welcome to join. And that also creates a scarcity and urgency when you're talking with people. Like, hey, if you're thinking of joining, we're doing our next coaching session uh, tomorrow. And uh, here's uh, how to, uh, you know, uh, book in your call and we can talk about you joining the program. Hi, Lacey. How are you doing? Great. Glad you're glad uh, it's making sense for you and, and glad you're enjoying the, the episode. If you have any questions, Lacey, just let me know. And uh, if anyone else has any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Okay, so this really was a game changer uh, for me, being able to sell my program like this because I was struggling in the beginning of selling my course like this because I, had, I didn't get the marketing right, etc., etc. So it was harder for me to sell my program at $200 than it was at $2,000. So this is especially good if you're a beginner and you're learning the marketing and the sales and you, you, need, you just need that early momentum and you need things to be rolling quickly in order to just have those experiences of selling your program, helping your clients, sharing student wins, working through those first issues, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there, I think another reason why this works so well is because I think that, that people can be kind of roughly divided into three categories, right? First, we have the, the, the big masses, right? Those are most people. They're not gonna do anything unless someone else has done it first, right? So they're, they're the followers, right? They follow the pioneers, right? The, the early adopters. So that's 10%. So 10% are the early adopters, 80% are the big masses, and then you have 10% that are the skeptics, the haters, right? They're never gonna buy from you, no matter what you, you say. You could be giving them gold and they're not gonna want it, right? So what you wanna do in your marketing is you wanna focus on the early adopters because those are the ones that are willing to take higher degrees of risk for higher, um, higher profit, right? So they're looking for opportunities. So when you're saying, you have a chance if you act right now to get a 90% discount on this thing that I don't have a, 
a specific track record on, right? You don't have any earlier testimonials because you just launched this thing. That appeals to that group of people. So when those people come in, they are more engaged and more motivated and they're looking to take full advantage of the opportunity and they're working directly with you, etc., etc., etc. because they're action takers. That's the whole thing with early adopters. Now, then when you have those people in, you start sharing with people, with the big masses, how you're helping people inside your program. And then they follow in uh, afterward, right? So you cannot be focusing on the big masses to start with. At least I don't think that's the best strategy to get the, the whole thing rolling as quickly as possible. So focus on the early adopters first, and then the big masses follow, and then you can uh, forget about the skeptics because that's never gonna, they're never gonna join, right? Okay, so that's, that's uh, what we call the wave launch strategy. Let me know if you have any questions about the wave launch strategy, uh, if there's something you feel I missed. If not, we're gonna move over to that crucial, crucial component that I mentioned here. Because remember, this only works if you're, if you're doing group coaching, right? Otherwise, you cannot, uh, you can, but I just don't, I don't recommend it if you're just starting out to pre-sell your first online course, right? However, coaching is the way to go. So why is coaching so important? And why do I think it's such a mistake of people not to do group coaching? So we've talked about the importance of having feedback loops. So feedback loops is all the systems in your business where uh, things kind of, um, they go into an upward spiral, right? They, it's a, it's a, well, how could I use it? How could I explain feedback loop without saying feedback loop? It's basically like you have a coaching, you would have a coaching session in your community, in your um, uh, program with your clients. You're asking them, you're helping them. They tell you where they're stuck and therefore you can take that information create trainings for them. On the next coaching session, you can create a training video specifically on what they asked for, which, which for them is like, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so happy that you created this, right? So you learn more by how you learn exactly what it is they're struggling with, which enables you to create better training for them, which enables them to get better results, which enables you to improve your marketing because you can tell people uh, that you're helping them with these specific issues that are actual problems because now you know they're actual problems because your paying audience, your paying students are telling you it is and you're telling them how you're solving it. So it's like a win-win-win kind of thing. Instead of you talking in your marketing about problems that people don't actually have, you're helping people inside your program and they're telling you what the real problems are. So you can create the real solutions and create results on the actual things that people want, which enables you to go up back to your marketing and talk about the real solutions to the real problems that they have that make them wanna join the program that enables them to take part of these solutions that you have created for them so that they get even faster results so that you can go back into your marketing and tell people how how fast you're helping your clients so that you get students in, uh, joining even faster, getting even faster results. So the whole thing just kind of speeds up and goes out of control in a positive direction, right? Shane is saying, I love the wave launch. It's one of the best things you have taught me. Uh, Shane is saying, I started at 97 and I am now at 1,297. Thanks to you and your program, David. Thanks, Shane. Yeah, awesome. Shane is, uh, Shane, has a, a fantastic program on uh, uh, helping um, helping people speak English, right? So if you if you have this kind of niche niche, and you think that oh I, it, this is a low ticket niche etc etc etc, Shane is proving that it's a proof that it's it's possible, right? So we actually implemented the whole method with him. Uh, we built his audience. We were very clear about the the mission about who he helps, what is the problem he solves, all that stuff. Shane really took action on it. His community is up at thousands of people, people wanting to learn English so they can fulfill their dreams. Joining his program, uh, uh, my girlfriend actually joined this program, so I've listened in, and he, he created this fantastic program 
uh, where he's working directly with people. I, I, I am sure that he would not be able to charge this, this amount and help people at this level if he didn't have that interactive component. So he has these training sessions, they're having these amazing games, it's really, really fun and it's really interactive and this is the, this is the secret, right? And this is how you can help people, offer more value, charge more, go back to your marketing, tell people how you're helping people and the whole thing just kind of speeds out of control. So. Yeah, thanks, Shane, for, for joining the live and, and uh, sharing. You, you have a, a fantastic, yeah, you have nearly 5,000 people in your Facebook group now. That's fantastic. And we started at zero, so it, it really, really works. So thanks, Shane. Thanks for jumping on. Yeah, so I, I can really, um, I, I, look, it's not, I'm not saying that the wave launch strategy is the best thing on planet Earth. That's not what I'm saying. If you are an experienced marketer, if you're already selling high ticket, if you are, you know, if you have come that that far and you already have a position and you already have an audience audience and you already have testimonials and all that stuff, by all means, don't start at two hundred dollars. Start at two, three, four, five, six thousand, whatever it is you charge. But if you are, if you are, uh, if you are just getting started. You cannot, uh, you cannot focus on anything else than getting early momentum. It's really all that matters. And I, 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 when I got this idea of doing it like this, and I've never seen anyone else do it like, quite like this, it was just like, well, obviously, this is how I have to do it. And it just, it just worked. So uh, I really, really, really recommend you and urge you to go down this path of uh, launching with the wave launch strategy. It uh, enables you to have the flexibility. You, you start to understand where things are not working well. You can adapt and you can change. Instead of creating this product that you can't change, you're telling your audience that this is a work in progress, but that the coaching sessions are every week. So it's already launched, it's already done. It's just that you're going to be adding online uh, training videos as well, right? And they're gonna be the exact training videos that they're asking for. So it's really a win-win-win for everyone involved. Okay, so back to coaching then. So how do you coach people? So remember, I, I, I really recommend you to think of your product as less of, as an online course and more as a coaching program, right? It's a coaching program with an online course in it. So, and your program should have, first and foremost, group coaching. It should have a support group of some kind. We have ours on Discord. We used to have it on Facebook as a Facebook group, but that didn't work as well as we wanted. So we, we moved over to Discord. That has worked fantastic. And then you wanna have a course portal uh, where you're uploading the training videos, etc. So we actually have ours on Kajabi and uh, other, other work, you know, this is not the, the most important thing, but Kajab is the one we recommend. Okay, so the group coaching, I recommend you to do it at least twice a week with eight hours apart so that people from different time zones can join in. Uh, you wanna collect questions throughout the week by coaching people one-on-one -on -one and in, in, a, in a joint client community, right? So you're collecting questions and, and by doing that, you can do special trainings during the coaching sessions, or you can address specific things, etc., etc. Then the way I do it and how I recommend you to do this, and I've actually not seen anyone else do it just quite like this, is that when people join your coaching sessions, uh, first of all, you have your framework, you have your method where you're helping people go from point A to point B and you're helping them go through this thing, holding them accountable, making, you know, checking in on how their past week went, what, where did they get stuck, what are their pressing questions, do they have any obstacles, and putting together a plan for their coming week, an action plan of what it is they need to do, uh, incentivizing them to keep coming back to the coaching sessions, right? And then what you, whenever they're talking with you, most people just aren't used to, to um, or. Let me put it like this. When you're struggling with something, you're more prone to talk freely and need, to, you're need your, your thoughts to just kind of come out. So what you're helping them to do is to clarify it 
into a question. So they'll, they'll be telling you blah, 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 blah. And you would listen in and then you would say something like, got it. So it seems to me like what you're wondering here is how to do X or how to do Y or how to achieve Z, right? Yes, no, or they would say, no, not exactly. This is what I'm wondering. Okay, got it. So this is, this is the question, right? So the first job there when you're coaching someone is just to help them to clarify the question because they're gonna bring that with them the next week, right? Like, how do I do X? How do I do X? Uh, or, or uh, you know, obviously you wanna give them the solution to do that, but they can keep thinking about it. They can understand that that's the question that they need to be working on, right? And when you get that question, what you do is you write it down and you collect all these questions that you're getting during the coaching sessions. And then what happens then is that you take those questions and you add it to your course portal together with the replay. And then they can search and they can find it. And you'll have, after a while, I think we have over 300 coaching sessions now with yeah, probably thousands of questions. Yeah. Yeah, at least in the hundreds, right? Yeah, it's got to be a, over a thousand questions in there where people can search for that question and they'll instantly find it, right? And that's how you start. When you get all these questions, that's your content, right? For your free marketing. So if someone is asking in my, in my, uh, um, when I help my clients on their coaching sessions, uh, someone might, ha uh, might be asking, um, how do I launch my program right away, right? And then that goes back to you on the free level here. How to launch your program as fast as possible? Because I know that's a pressing question for my ideal client, my avatar, right? For people just sort of like similar to my client, just the only difference is that they haven't paid to join my program yet. And those are the people you want to be talking with. People that are as similar as possible to your paying clients. Does that make sense? I, I think it does. I hope it does. <laughs> Shane is saying thank you. No, Shane, thank you. Thank you for, for uh, joining the program and taking action on it and, and doing the best of it. And it's just, you know, seeing how much you're helping people uh, with their English, it's really one of the reasons why I do what I do. It's just so cool to see the things you work on actually make a difference for others. So it's it's really, thank you so much for doing something with it. Great, so um, I can't see any, any other questions right now. So that's what I wanted to share with you this week. And um, if you want the guide, if you're watching this in the Facebook group, you want the guide, just comment guide in the comments. I'll reach out to you. If you're listening in, watching this on YouTube, go ahead and join the Online Course Secrets group on Facebook. This is where all the fun happens. This is where all the cool conversations are going on and where you can ask questions and uh, watch these videos live and uh, participate. And uh, if you tune in next week, we're gonna be finishing up this three-part series talking about marketing and sales. So, because at this point we have covered how to build your audience of qualified leads, how to create your course and launch it as soon as possible and what it is you need to be focusing on. Coaching, group coaching, in order to be able to sell it from day one. So now the missing piece here is the marketing and the sales systems. So that's what we're gonna be covering next week. If there's no other questions, I'm gonna be wrapping this up. Thank you again for listening. I really, really appreciate you. I appreciate all your questions and uh, for tuning in, watching live. And if you are in the step-by-step -step program, we are starting our group coaching sessions in uh, 20 minutes. So I look forward to seeing you there and helping you and uh, helping you move forward. Thank you, Lacey. Uh, thanks, was great. Awesome. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.